All right, going to take a, just a minute or two here to answer a letter that we received. I'm going to keep the name and the location private and everything. Right here is the letter. And uh, <clears throat> out here doing some videos today and things. And so I just thought I'd take a minute or so here because he brings up something very interesting. Uh, Dear Brian, hello, Brian. My name is blank. And I am from, again, blank. And I've been following you for about three years now, and you have played a big role in my life. I am 25 years old and I'm engaged to a wonderful young woman who I was able to lead to the Lord through your teaching, through, through your teachings, excuse me. Um, she comes from a strict Catholic family who is adamantly against her reading the KJV Bible and leaving the church, you know, in quotations. I had spoken to her parents privately about the matter and they had a tough conversation with me telling me the Bible should not be taken literally that Christ was just a man sent by God and good works get you to heaven. Her father mocked the idea of getting saved. Yeah, that's what Catholics will do. Even though we have been together for several years, that is the first time I had gone head to head with them on the matter. I really do care for them and this has been very heavy on my heart. The thing that really startles me is since the conversation, I have not been motivated to read my Bible. I am, I guess you could say, disappointed in myself. Um, even though I uh, blatantly told them how to get saved, I feel as if I should have said more, and I know this will cause problems when it comes to the wedding. Um, I have a newfound respect for people who work in ministry. Will you please keep me, my soon-to-be wife, and most of all her lost parents in your prayers? I will continue to do the same for you, Catherine and Oliver. Um, uh, Uh, she says, P.S., my soon-to-be wife's name is blank, and we and she accepted Christ December t uh, 16th of 2016. Without your teachings on Catholicism, I would not have been able to show her the way. With love in Christ, gives his name. Um, I want to answer something there, but uh, again, uh, for all the hypocrites out there that talk about there's no fruit from this ministry, right there, uh, Roman Catholic getting saved. I would say that my favorite type of uh, person to when I hear that somebody got saved a uh, favorite is of course a Jew I love to hear when a Jew gets saved um, it's just as a I've, I would do cartwheels but you know I'm not really <laughs> not, not gonna happen but you know it gets me really excited it's a great blessing and the second group that I love to hear somebody get saved from is a, is a Roman Catholic somebody raised Catholic is just it's just such a joy to my heart because I hate Catholicism with a passion but I do not hate Catholic people um, I love Catholic people and I want to see him get saved. That's my true heart's desire. And it just, oh boy, reading this letter was just such a joy to me. It's, I mean, this is worth more than all the money in the world right there to hear that uh, um, the Lord used my teachings to get a Catholic saved. Uh, wow. Praise the Lord for that. Um, that's exciting. But what I want to say is here, um, two points. Number one, the thing of uh, what, what he said here about... Um, uh, even though I blatantly told them how to get saved, I feel as if I should have said more, and I know this will cause problems when it comes to the wedding. Yeah, you know, it's going to be rough marrying into a Catholic family and stuff, especially for her, you know, the parents are going to be constantly trying to woo her back, and what about your grandfather, what about your grandma, you know, think about your relatives. I've, I mean, I got a lot of different brethren that I know that are saved, and they have Catholic relatives and things, and it's the constant, just this constantly trying to pull you back into Catholicism and please come to your senses think about grandma what's she going to think and you know you're going to get that whole thing uh what if you have children how are you going to have them baptized we have to christen them and and the whole deal and and, and you know our medical insurance is so much better in Catholicism <laughs> you're going to get you're going to get that stuff okay so be prepared for it and of course it's worth it you know to be saved and, and things you're going to get that persecution from your family but the thing of feeling like you should have said more oh boy um when you witness to people you will feel that thing many many times you will just feel oh why didn't i say ah oh, you know <laughs> and i can't tell you how many times that's happened to me you know I, I i'm you know i've been studying the scriptures for a long time and preaching the word for many years now and uh i know the bible pretty well and there are times i get into a witnessing situation and my mind just goes just blank and I'm going, 
uh, yeah, yeah, you know, well, you need to, to think about salvation. In my mind, I'm going, what is that verse? Where's that verse at? I, don't, I have no idea. I can't think. And you get, you get done witnessing to them. They go, okay, you know, and, and give them a tract or whatever. Or, and, and they walk off and you go, oh, I know where that verse is at. Ah, me. <laughs> ah, it's frustrating. And it's just the, the thing of, you know, to use a military analogy, you know, you go through basic training in the military and there's the right way to do it and the right way to operate your gun and whatever else. And all of a sudden you get into battle and the bullets are flying past your head and you're going, uh, and you start doing things that are not army regulation. Um, well, that's how it is in the spiritual realm. Um, you're going to have that happen. I don't care how much Bible you know. You will have the thing happen. So don't don't beat yourself up too bad about that. Uh, it just, it's the nature of the system. I mean, it just, you get to, to witnessing the people and later on you're going to think, I should have said this, I should have said that. And just how it is. But the most important point I want to make here is that you say, you said here, this brother said, um, the thing that really startles me is since the conversation I have not been motivated to read my Bible. Yep. Um, again, that is a a spiritual warfare type of a thing. Again, I have had many years of experience with this. And you'll go out and you'll have some time to witness to somebody or you'll get some spiritual victory or whatever else. And the next day or two, all of a sudden, you're going to feel depressed. You're going to feel just weird. And you're going to be just it, you, you'll feel almost like there's something tying your feet down and just, you know, you're, you're trying to pray and your thoughts are all off and whatever else. And you try to open up the Bible and your eyes are just wandering or you're, you're reading it and your thoughts are just totally elsewhere. And you get to the end of the chapter and you say, what did I just read? You know, I have no idea. It's a spiritual warfare type of a thing. Um, the devils that are out there do not want Catholics to get saved. And uh, your in-laws, um, Satan doesn't want them getting saved. I'm sure he was rather upset when your uh, wife-to-be, when she got saved. And uh, her parents, the devil's going to fight hard to keep them in his system. And um, what you got to do is you just got to kind of get through it. And you just got to say, Lord, I'm sorry. I just, you know, help me. Here, I don't know what's going on. I don't know some kind of spiritual attack. If there's some kind of spirit coming after me, then then get it away from me. Help me to get back to reading your word and loving your word. And and you know, it's it's something that it's very difficult because you can you can live in this world and you know you can come out to a beautiful place like this and look at the flowers and and the sun shining and and it's a beautiful day and and all this stuff and and you aren't thinking about spiritual warfare, but uh, there's a spiritual realm here too. And there could be devils right near me here or whatever else. There's, there's, we're in a battlefield, brethren. And um, you got to keep that in mind as a Christian. There's no off time. There's no time where the devil's going to say, hey, it just, we've been kind of going out a little bit strong on that Christian there. Just leave him alone, okay? That doesn't happen. Um, there's constant war. So don't think that, you know, oh, I'm, I'm kind of going through some hard stuff right now, but I, I, I think it'll just kind of go away. You have to fight. And I know it's tough sometimes. Boy, you know, there's those times when you're feeling just so down and kind of depressed and you're feeling like, I think I failed the Lord here and whatever. You got to fight through that. And you got to just say, Lord, please help me. And, you know, shut off secular music. Turn on hymns or, or whatever you can. Just start praying. Uh, just whatever you can do. Spiritual warfare is what that's all about. And, and, you know, I have definitely experienced it. I've, I've had many experiences where you go through some kind of a thing like that and you just feel kind of a, I don't know if I can even read the Bible right now and stuff. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, really enjoyed the letter. And I will definitely be praying for your in-laws, for their salvation. And uh, praise Lord that uh, there's a young couple out there that's, um, come out of Roman Catholicism. I don't know, brother, if you did, but you know your wife did. And uh, I've known other brethren that that uh, you know have come out of it, and they just get bold and they're witnessing for Jesus Christ. You might be shocked. You might be shocked what the Lord will do. You never know. 
Um, again, I, I've known couples that, uh, you know, they try to witness to their parents. Their parents don't listen, but they'll talk to the grandparents. The grandparents will get saved or a cousin gets saved or, you know, whatever. An aunt or an uncle. Um, I've seen that too. Uh, so uh, don't give up hope. You know, keep praying. Um, you go through that tough time, that spiritual kind of a counteroffensive, you know, and um, you just got to, you got to pray harder. You got to fight harder in that time period. So that's going to be it. Uh, thank you very much for the letter. So encouraging to hear that, you know, this ministry is, you know, was instrumental in, in a Catholic getting saved. Boy, I love to hear that. So uh, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching.